Welcome guys, come on in, let's get going. Emily, good to see you. Oh, and you ladies will be just next door, so great. Hey Trevor, how we doing big guy? Big guy. Liz, how we doing killer? And Cameron, what's up there Slim? This place is a dump. Hey, it's not that bad. It's all right, guys, let's go ahead and get lined up in a nice straight line for orientation, okay? Line on up. Great. And I'm going to go ahead and grab your government mandated welcome kits. I'll be just next door. Be right back. So, what are you guys in for? Grand Theft Auto for moving a car six feet. Freeing captive penguins. I lit a bottle rocket and now I'm a terrorist. Murder. You mean air pollution, Liz? Uh. <laughs> wow, is that an original Boyd the Android? Yeah, it's broken. Uh, I've got some super strength NASA glue if you need it. Great. Well, my first duty as your parole officer is to activate your ankle monitors. So let's do that. Here we go. Now, your ankle monitors work on the buddy system. So you want to stay within 20 feet of another felon at all times. Ooh, no problems there. Why don't you go back to the woodshed? I think they're missing a tool. Wow. <laughs> now, if you don't stay within 20 feet, they'll beep for 30 seconds. Oh. The police will come, you'll go back to prison, and I'll break your legs. <laughs> Do not get that on your hands. That's how we got the first mummy into orbit. Huh? Cameron, Trevor, Emily, Liz, we are just so excited to have you in the Young Felons Scholarship Program. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can't believe you broke Boyd the Android. Our school's got the new grant so you can sign up for classes now on the internet. Be careful. Damn it! It won't come off! Would you quit that, Cameron? No! There's gotta be some loophole that we can use to escape. It's like my mom said after her third divorce, there's always a way out. Ugh. Ooh, it loaded! Uh, dial up. Last schedule, here we come. Oh yeah. Dude, that's the guy who sentenced me. Me, me too. too. Me too. Well, you know what I would do if I was a judge and on the college's board of trustees? I'd falsify felonies, send the felons to my college and collect tuition kickbacks. Wait, what are kickbacks? It's crowdfunding for small businesses. No, it's under the table payment for services made by someone with insider access or information. Guys, I think that is exactly what the judge did. Oh, that guy is probably making bank. He, he's probably making bank off me. Even if that were true, what can we do about it? Oh, 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 just off the top of my head, we could probably blackmail him into expunging our records. <laughs> Freedom! Oh, wait, won't we get in trouble? No. Yeah, blackmail is a felony. We'd be double felons. No, that's only if he's not guilty, but since he is, we are off like a prom dress. You were one sexist joke away from Donald Trump bingo. You know what? Women like you don't like him just because he's rich. Bingo! It's Cameron, blackmail would definitely land us in prison. 
But if that's what you want to do, prom queen, I'm with you the whole way. Thank you. To watch you crash and burn. Oh my gosh. Sure, it's a risk, all right? But I bet yeah. my waterfall shower that he is guilty, <clears throat> all right? And the real crime would be ignoring that. Right? So we'd be like Robin Hood without weapons or tights. The truth would be our weapon. Exactly. They, they meet the first Monday of the semester at noon. Yeah. Okay, in 30 minutes, we will be on the train to freedom, all right? To the administration building. <laughs> oh. Trevor, come on. Stupid tire. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you. Trevor, twenty feet. This wheel is only a couple weeks from retirement. <laughs> retirement? Hey, I'm really, really sorry about my friend here. You know, he's a little... Huh? Wow, so what is a beautiful woman like you doing driving a Charger, huh? Well, you know, I'll just drive it, so... Well, you know, I got a Charger and a Lamborghini at home. So if you ever wanted to stop by my place, I'm sure we can get the engines revving. And here we see the bro in his natural habitat. Bro? <laughs> hmm? Come on. Okay. Hi, I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. This is my roommate, Liz. Hi, Liz. I'm Maggie. You know, it's so hard to get those tires off. Have you? I never knew. It was so hard. I just thought, I don't know. I just thought they would just pop off. I thought you just like loosen the screws and it would pop off. But apparently, you have to be really strong. Like, I need to be working out. It's the NASA glue, Cameron. I don't want to be a space monkey. I felt like an idiot. And I didn't really know how to get the jack. Careful, So many people passed by without even offering to help. Except this one fella. He tried to put a spell on my car with his sword. And then he like ran off to level up or something. <laughs> Those level up caps are a real pain. Did he mention he was a major paladin? You're so funny. You know, I should cook you my mama's chicken and waffle recipe. Oh. oh. <laughs> Here. No, that's right. Here. Oh. <laughs> ow, ow, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing down there? Yeah. Ow! Oh. Ow! That is uncomfortable. Like, oh, yes! Oh, My wrist doesn't do that. Can we go now? Oh, campus. Ew. There's just weirdos everywhere. Hey. Alright, the administration building. Uh, we could check a campus map. Or I could just ask her. <sighs> All right, Kim. Whoa, okay, you got this. You got this. Dwayne the Rock Johnson's got nothing on you. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> well, we're looking for the administration building, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's exactly what we mean. <laughs> there. Hey, you want to maybe... Nice commentary on the heroism of the modern mechanic. <laughs> it's NASA monkey glue. Wow, were you an astronaut? <laughs> I have some Himalayan green tea I imported from Mexico. Uh-huh. Give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> That's O for two, cowboy. You know, I can get plenty of girls at the gym. I find that hard to believe. Hey, to the administration building. <sighs> Oh. My weapon of choice, but My noble friend. Yeah. Perchance you would sign my petition. They won't let him take no, his sword I, to I a sewing and sundries class. We can help him, right? No, Emily? we don't have time, Emily. Sorry, Aragorn. Petitions never work. You get a lawyer and you sue. Him. This hmm? is a matter of honor. Patience over arrogance brings favor to all quests. Okay, losers call winners arrogant because they're jealous. Okay, arrogance is the difference between some dweeb that brings his sword to school and a broquistador who has his masseuse on speed dial. This broquistador has his parole officer on speed dial. My friend, you need this sword more than I. Oh, 
so we can go prancing through fairy meadows and gnomes and little <laughs> butterfly companions? No. We this have... sword grants its bearer with humility and discernment. Mm -hmm. It will bring you success on your quest. I insist. If I take the sword, can we go? Thank you. I love making new friends! We are like Robin Emily, don't encourage. Okay, by this time tomorrow, I'll be flirting with a towel girl at the spa. Please, no more problems. You don't understand, I need to see Judge John Marshall. It's a matter of life and death. She has leukemia. I do? And it is her dream to meet such an accomplished public official. Well, I needed 20 grand for my cat's surgery. Looks like both of our dreams have been euthanized. Now do I need to call campus police? Police, okay, fun's over, Cameron. Listen, the man that stands between me and my Audi R8 is right in there, and I'm not just gonna walk away. But even Robin Hood avoids the po-po. They're right, Cameron, we should go. No. No. Just no. Oh, come on. Don't you recognize a 10 when you see one? This, this always works for me. Does it? Aren't you concerned that flirting is your go-to solution for your problems? What if it ain't broke? <laughs> okay, I don't know what bizarre world we're living in, but you've been slaying ladies left and right, so just work your magic, big guy. Oh, Our freedom is I on the I don't want to slay ladies. Ooh, we just got to talk to her. I know you can get us in there, pal. Remember us? Remember us, Judge Marshall? None of us are okay with you making bogus indictments so that you can collect kickbacks. Hmm? But of course, no one needs to know about the criminal corruption of a beloved public servant. All that we ask is that you expunge our records and we can all go our separate ways. Huh? That's a serious allegation, son. As far as I'm concerned, felons oh. can't make demands, but they can go back to prison. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh, he actually called the cops. We can't go to prison! Those jumpsuits make me look like a giant orange. Wait, I see you as more of a fashion! <laughs> Could y'all give me a moment with these dangerous felons? What? Dangerous? Listen, we both know we're not actually guilty. Your entire generation is guilty of being aimless adults. Getting an education was your second chance to find some purpose. But now that you've wrongfully accused me in front of my colleagues, I will personally make sure y'all rot for this. Officer! Yeah. Yeah. Take these four downtown, alert the press. What? Tell them I've thwarted an attempt on my life. What? <laughs> you... I've never been on live TV before. <laughs> Did you arrest Trevor? Mm-hmm. Oh. You need to sign these forms. There's some kid out here you can the Go and get a translator in here. Hello, Daddy. Daddy? Daddy? Give me a minute, Maggie dear, and I'll be ready to go to lunch at the Corn Hut. Trevor, my hero. <laughs> Wait, Daddy, what's going on? Dad, them's the nice people who helped change my tire. Isn't he as sweet as pumpkin spice for buying me my brand new charger? Maggie. Oh, stop being modest, Daddy. He says that making money is just as easy as sliding off a greasy log backwards. That's enough, Maggie. <laughs> Little consultant on the side. <coughs> Kickbacks. Well, uh, now that I put some fear in you kids, I'll show you some mercy. 
Officers, uncuff them. I won't be pressing charges today. Yeah, I dare. Y'all have crossed me, and God is my witness. I will make your life here a living hell. Oh, my tire iron! <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so sorry. What? Oh, you poor baby. Why was that such your hand? Hey, I, it's a long story. Is that glue? Yeah. And my tire iron is glued to your hand. <laughs> Why is there glue on her hand? You're so silly. So I know today was a little crazy, but <gasps> I'm thinking I can make some dinner. Then I would like to fill your stomachs and oh. maybe lift the moon a little bit. <laughs> is everything okay, Cameron? They thought that would work, you guys. <laughs> We're lucky we aren't in prison. No! Liz, lucky would be back in Barbados. Oh. <laughs> Playing volleyball in Xbox instead of being stuck here, forced together by these stupid monitors. Why can't things just go back to the way they were? Because not all of us want to go back to our old lives, Cameron. Getting arrested was one of the best things that ever happened to me. I know it sucks, but we are lucky. The grass here is a lot greener than the grass at the penitentiary. They don't even have grass in the pen. Nothing grows in the pen. <laughs> what do you say, Emily? Dinner? Huh? Yeah, yeah, we should try my new spaghetti recipe. Yeah. There's a recipe for spaghetti? Yeah. <laughs> What? Why don't you give this whole thing a chance? The next two years might surprise you. You never know. Good.